Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. Welcome to the introduction of machine learning and deep learning tutorial. In this tutorial series, I am going to do practical implementation of machine learning and deep learning projects. Why we need to learn machine learning and deep learning? First, it is so much interesting to learn. Imagine a machine is going to predict the future, classify some objects, recommend movies, songs based on your activities, making a conversation similar to humans, like that we can do anything using artificial intelligence. That's why it is so much interesting to learn. And this particular skill has a higher job demand in the 20th century. If you go to Google and search for high demanding job and a high paying job means it will definitely show machine learning in the top 10. So it's a high demanding job. Recruiters in the industries are actively searching for the persons who are skilled in it. And that's why it has so much demand. And the third one is we can able to solve all the real world tasks. If you see some application, everything is integrated with the AI. For example, smart cars, smart homes, even in your smartphones, the artificial intelligence is helping to optimize the battery usage and also for some other tasks. Similar to this, the real world problems are huge and it plays major role in industries like medicine, education, finance and the list goes on. And the fourth one is complete practical implementation. In this tutorial series, I won't be concentrating much on theory. It will take so much long time and we can quickly learn the theoretical concepts by practically implementing it by doing some beginner to expert projects. So it will be a complete practical implementation. On the way, I'll be explaining some machine learning and deep learning concepts. So this will be much better to acquire the skill quickly. What is machine learning? Machine learning is one of the application of artificial intelligence. So it is like a subset of artificial intelligence. There are many categories out there. You can explore that if you want. Artificial intelligence will be a root part. Machine learning has the ability to learn automatically without explicitly programming each and everything manually. So it will save lot of time for the programmers who are coding. It will improve from the experience because it uses the past data to learn the pattern from it. If you train a model with related data for that application means it will improve the model based on the experience it will get. So that's it for machine learning. What is deep learning? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Everyone thinking like machine learning is separate and deep learning is separate. But deep learning is like a subset of uh, machine learning. It's, if you consider every concepts, it will be under artificial intelligence. So in deep learning, we are going to create artificial neural network. It is similar to our human brain. We will create so many neurons and each neurons will be connected with every other neuron. If the model sees some pattern means it will fire the neuron. Like our human brain, if we see some information, we can also remember about that. Like that, it will work similarly. And the artificial neural network is constructed based on the concept of biological human brain. Deep learning is very useful to process large amount of data. If you have huge amount of data, it can automatically recognize some patterns and able to predict the results much better than the common machine learning algorithms. And it can provide better results than machine learning algorithms. We are not going to specify any algorithms here. We will just create some neural network. Based on the data, it will find a pattern and improve from it. Deep learning plays a major role in many applications. So it's an important concept to learn. Next. The prerequisites. You need to have a basic knowledge in Python because I'm going to code everything in Python. You can also code in MATLAB or R language. If you have knowledge in that languages, you can prefer that. But I'm going to code everything in Python because it is easy to use. And many of the machine learning and deep learning modules are available in Python and it is open source. And the next one is basic math knowledge. For the tutorial series, you don't need to know these uh, mathematical concepts because we are going with practical approach. But if you want to become a data science specialist, you have to know some basic math knowledge in linear algebra, probability and statistics because every model and algorithms is built upon this mathematics. So it's always preferable to have some basic math knowledge. And the third one is basic theory concepts. It is also optional. I'm going to explain some concepts on the way while coding. If you want to know the complete theory about machine learning and deep learning with the mathematical concepts, 
you can refer Andrew NJ's course. It is available in YouTube and uh, Coursera. In YouTube, the channel name is deeplearning.ai. In the course, he will explain all the theoretical concepts, but it will take longer time because it has more than 250 videos. Each video takes about 10 to 15 minutes of time. It will take some hours, but you will get a basic overview of how to approach a problem. Don't worry, we can also start without it. Next, the software requirements. For executing our models and projects, we need to have an environment. For that, we need to install Anaconda distribution. It has the basic machine learning modules and the deep learning modules. It also includes Python 3 and the Jupyter Notebook. In Jupyter Notebook, I am going to code everything. Jupyter Notebook can also save the output and you can also run some blocks of code in that. It will be very useful for trial and error and practical experimentation. So if you want to know how to install Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook, you can click the link on the top right corner of the screen or the link will be available in the description. You can see the video on how to install Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook. If you don't have a powerful machine or you want to run it in online means, you can go for Google Colab and the Kaggle Notebooks. Both are uh, free to use and it is also similar to a Jupyter Notebook. The every format will be same, but the only requirement is you need to have access to the internet. Using these two platforms, you can also do the coding part. Next, some of the machine learning and deep learning models. So these are the machine learning models we need to have in our machine. The first one is NumPy. NumPy is used for the manipulation of multidimensional array. Usually we will deal with multidimensional data for that you definitely need to have NumPy. And the second one is Pandas. All the data sets will be accessed using Pandas. You can view the data set in the form of a table. We can see the data set clearly and uh, it also provides some statistics option. Third one is scikit-learn. Scikit-learn contains all the machine learning modules like all the computer algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, random forest, decision trees like that. Uh, it has every models. This is also an important model. It will be available when you install Anaconda. So you don't need to worry about that. The fourth one is NLTK. It's for natural language processing. This module is able to process the text languages. And the last three are deep learning modules, Keras, TensorFlow and PyTorch. We are going to create the neural networks using these three modules. You can use anything you want. I'll explain all the modules while doing the projects, but prefer to use PyTorch because nowadays everyone is using PyTorch. It's like a growing module. If you want to be an expert in deep learning, it is recommended to learn PyTorch because in PyTorch, we can change everything from the base level. It will be very useful for you. Next, what this tutorial contains. It has complete practical implementation. So I'll code everything from scratch. The tutorial series contains the projects from beginner to expert level. So just follow the order of the tutorial. First, you will understand the basic concepts. And after some 10 tutorials, we will go to the expert level projects. It will be somewhat difficult for the beginners. But after doing for a couple of times, you will get a hang of it. Tips and tricks. I'll be explaining all the tips and tricks that I have acquired while doing the projects. Some tips will be useful while attending some competitions. Easy approaches to solve the problem. I'll be explaining some approach that I have been following while coding. And simple explanation about concepts. If I'm going to in implement some concepts on the data set means I will give a quick explanation what it does in a practical way, like what the input and what it will give as an output. It will be very easy to understand if you are a beginner. Next. Some of the concepts I'm going to cover during the tutorial series. Classification. If you want to classify some data like cat versus dog classification, handwritten digits classifications like that, we are going to do some projects. Regression. Regression is used when the output is variable, like body temperature, weight, age. In these attributes, all the values will be varying accordingly. For that kind of data sets, we'll be using regression. Clustering. If we don't have any output data or any label data, we will create a group of clusters based on the input attributes. We can separate the input attributes accordingly and able to classify it in the future. Natural language processing is used for speech and text recognition, for sentiment analysis, chatbot creation. For that, we will be using natural language processing. Convolution neural network. CNN is used for image classification. When we are dealing with images, 
most of the time we will be using cnn only rnn rnn is like a sequence to sequence network we'll be using it in natural language processing combining both we will be creating some chatbot conversations to predict which word comes after another so that is rnn recommendation systems recommendation system is used for recommending some movies products songs etc based on your past activities and similar user history time series forecasting this concept is very much useful in finance we will be creating a model that will predict the future value of the stock and other than that we can also predict some demands for food items and uh, traffic pollution etc speech recognition in speech recognition we are going to process the audio with some text so if you speak something it will automatically recognize this is the corresponding text like that we will be building some projects object detection object detection you will be seeing in many applications like if you are using a camera means it will detect our face like a rectangular box will appear in your phone that is object detection similar to that we can detect every object in the world if you are using some video or image means it can automatically recognize the image and label the image accordingly the objects can be anything person car bicycle phone and the list goes on generative adversarial network gan this is some of the expert level uh, concept gan is used in many applications it will create a completely new image based on some past images we will be seeing this concept in the end of the tutorial it will be very interesting because we are going to completely create a new creative image from that and the last one is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is used majorly in games we will train a small game to automatically play by itself it is almost similar to a robot based on some frequent learning it will automatically learn which steps are good in order to win the game so that is a interesting concept and the next one is competitions to test our skills these are some of the websites i listed kaggle hacker earth techgig mlcontest.com here you can see some data science contest and hackathons you can participate in that and you can test your skill while competing in the contest your skill will rapidly improve so if you have some time means participate in the contest and try to solve the problem you, you will acquire some new knowledge after completing the project and next at the end of the tutorial series you will be able to solve real world problems for example covid 19 drug discovery it is a contest that was conducted like 2 months ago in that contest data set for drugs will be provided for the corresponding disease based on the corona virus molecular structure researchers get a pattern from the virus molecule and able to match with some other diseases which have already have some drugs so the doctors are using the drug for helping the patients who are affected by corona like that you can also solve many real world problems after that able to crack data science interviews so in the tutorial series i'll be covering all the concepts so you can able to crack the data science interviews and you can able to compete in a hackathons you will have the necessary skills that are needed to compete in hackathons so that's it for the introduction guys and as usual if you like the video hit the like button share it to your friends if they want to learn the machine learning and deep learning concepts and subscribe the channel for future videos stay tuned guys